the president of South Africa made this announcement that, well, while we're dealing with COVID-19, we've got this parallel epidemic of gender-based violence. At a time when the coronavirus pandemic has left us all feeling vulnerable and uncertain, violence is being unleashed on the women and children of our country with a brutality that defies any form of comprehension. And you know, the GBV part, in a way, is a proxy for everything else that's going on that negatively impacts women's lives. And this is not a race issue or class issue. It cuts across in terms of race, ethnicity, culture, whatever category and stratification you want to do. And it is actually quite horrific. And with the lockdowns and even with limited easing of the lockdown, ability of women to seek safety nets was quite restricted. So the issues for adolescent girls and young women in that context is more pronounced because of the younger population that we have overall and, and generally in sub-Saharan Africa. But I think what we have is an opportunity and it's an opportunity that needs to be seized. This needs a more proactive response. It's not going to occur to somebody because a lot of the officials who are making decisions are still males doing this. I don't think sometimes these uh, omissions are deliberate. I think it simply doesn't occur to them. <laughs> and it's important for us um, as women and, and uh, to do a lot of gender sensitization <laughs> in decision making. I think instead of looking at it as a door closing, I like to look at it as a door opening. And how do you use that door opening to actually strengthen um, and integrate um, the response?